Hello, welcome everybody to my channel. My name is Miguel Castro. This channel is mainly focused on my coding journey and maybe even your guys' coding journey. So join me and uh, let's get started. So today I'm excited to share some insights from my coding journey and discuss some tips on how to stay motivated and learning how to code. It's been an adventure for me and I'm excited to share some tips that have helped me along the way. Number one, breaking it down. Learning to code can be a little overwhelming sometimes, and to be honest, I've been there. But the one thing that has helped me is breaking down bigger projects into smaller projects. The reason that helps is because it manages your tasks into smaller tasks. You know, I had an idea for a project, and what really helped me was to make my tasks smaller. It made it more manageable for me to just start working on the project and just solve the issues. Now let's use an example. For this example, we're going to be using a simple to-do list web app. The number one step is to scope out how big this project is going to be. The first step is to write it down in a paper. What do you want in your project? What we'll do is just add tasks, mark them as done, and delete when you're finished. Now let's create an index.html, style.css, and script.js. Now in the index, we'll write a basic structure for our to-do list. And for the JavaScript, we'll make the input field work. Now, we'll add checkboxes for marking tasks as done. After that, we add delete buttons for removing tasks. Now, finally, we just make some styling to make it look pretty. Once that's done, we'll test our product. And there you go. It works. Number two, finding support. Sometimes we don't understand that people actually want to help. I can't stress this enough that finding a community that's supportive is game changing. Whether it's online forums, meetups, hackathons, or just chatting with friends that know how to code. Just having that support system makes a huge difference. And it motivates you to continue practicing what you already do. There are many forums such as Stack Overflow, GitHub, Twitter, and maybe even Reddit. Number three, and I think this is the most important one, is staying consistent. You know, consistency has been key for my coding journey. By setting aside a dedicated time each week or each day has been detrimental to my learning process. I've been able to build momentum and make steady progress. I've been learning about the 20 mile march. What is a 20 mile march? The 20 mile march is a concept emphasizing consistent progress and discipline akin to a daily routine, regardless of the circumstances or external sources. Sometimes we get a little caught up with life. Maybe it's work, maybe it's school, maybe you have a family, maybe it's something else. But I tell you at least 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes a day, however much you wanna take, as long as you keep it a routine, you will start noticing the progress. Maybe not one month, maybe not two months, maybe not even three, but you keep the consistency and you, I promise you, you will start noticing progress. Number four is seeking inspiration. When I'm feeling uninspired, I like to think of the amazing things that coding just could achieve. There's so many things to do. Uh, you can make a Valentine website. If it's Valentine's Day, you can make an anniversary website. You can make a chat bot, you know, you can make a website for your portfolio. You can make a website for your family, maybe just to practice. You know, whether it's building a website, creating a game, building a mobile app, or just solving real world problems. Number five is taking breaks. You know, taking care of myself has been very crucial for motivation in this journey. You know, sometimes we just want to go all in, you know, no time for breaks, no time for naps. But when you're tired, you actually lose focus. And that actually decreases your chances of learning anything. I recommend taking breaks. Go out for a walk, go watch a movie, go hang out with friends, you know, burnout is a real thing. Number six is tracking your progress. You know, it's easy to stay on that grind and not look back at all your progress, but I found it important to take a step back and just acknowledge my hard work. Whether it's looking back at my completed projects or learning a new skill, acknowledging my achievements actually motivates me more to keep going. This one's another important one. Number seven, experimenting with new technologies. 
Maybe front end was for you for a little, but maybe once you take back end, you're gonna love it. I encourage you to try new things. So there you have it guys, some insights from my coding journey and tips to stay motivated along the way. Thank you for joining me on my first video and I hope to see you on the next one. Happy coding.